Hey everyone, Morgan here. Today we are making a DIY solar oven. So let's see it. Okay, so we roughly, you know, drew out, well, not we, my husband, <laughs> he roughly mapped out like the dimensions and stuff. And I'm going to have a whole blog post about this. I will put this up there, all this so that you can know, but I wanted to make a legit DIY solar oven. So we got some, just one piece of OSB and then we cut it. And when I say we, I mean my husband, he did all of this. <laughs> and then we got a couple um, two by twos, just some like real small for some framing there. And then we got some hinges for the top piece as well as hinges for the side pieces so it can all kind of fold in together when it's not in use. So um, then we got a, a cooler, just a, this is a styrofoam made for food cooler. This is not like styrofoam that, you know, you'll find from Home Depot. This is like a actual cooler that's made for food storage and stuff. So I feel good putting, you know, my food in there. But uh, okay, so then we're going to be painting it black on the outside. I got the kids involved to help me spray paint the entire thing black. So um, that'll help, you know, absorb heat and, uh, you know, just to, to keep it nice and, and hot. So, you know, just a nice little coat there. So there we have it. The entire thing is spray painted black on the outside. And then on the interior bits there, I just put uh, aluminum foil and these are going to be the reflectors that are going to reflect the heat back into it. And I also put a couple little hooks there to keep the sides up. Oh, and the last little part is a little bit of plexiglass here. This plexiglass was like $12 or something, not that bad. I need to cut it just a little bit in the front, but otherwise it fit like a glove. We bought it like this and it was like beautiful. So that piece just kind of hangs out there on top. Oh, it's finally time to test out. I have a nice sunny, warm day today. Oh, I need some handles or something. I've dragged it from over there. Oh, I need some handles or wheels on this thing. All right, I got it opened and positioned to the sun. You, sh you will be able to tell when it's not positioned. See, it gets shadier and shadier, okay? So you wanna position it where it's nice and direct in that sun, just like that. Um, so I like to test everything. It has the plexiglass and everything on there. Ah, there we go. I like to test everything with eggs. So black pan or black pot inside is ideal. Um, I could put something else, you know, over it, like a tin foil over it or something, but it's a little unnecessary. Eggs should only take a couple hours. So again, I'm just testing this right now, testing the eggs, testing the heat, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I don't have a temperature gauge. Um, because I ran out of batteries on my temperature gauge. Prepper fail. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's watch batteries. I don't store watch batteries. Excuses. Anyway, we're just going to come back in a couple hours. And you have to keep in mind with solar ovens, you do have to continually move them with the sun, wherever the sun is. So you have to keep an eye on it and make sure that you are moving it with the sun. Okay, so like I said, you know, you can cover it with like tin foil or, um, some sort of uh, lid or something just to make sure that uh you know it's retaining the heat in the pan or pot as well but you know i mean i i can already feel it is it is very warm and uh I, i'm not going to be too concerned with it i you know when i bake stuff i don't put a lid on the bake it on the baked goods and it it bakes and, and cooks just fine so i'm not too worried about it my backyard is so shady i had it over there and i had to you know bring it on over here it has been going for a couple hours now I want to check it probably in the next hour or two. It's been another hour and I had to move it again to get it in the sun. Just, you know, my backyard. Started over there, then it was there, now it was here. Okay, it's been three hours later and I am going to be cracking it open now. Oh boy, here's the test, there's the test. Oh boy. Okay, what is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be totally hard boiled? What do you guys think? Totally hard boiled. Oh, it's beautiful. Success. Oh my gosh. Love it. I'm so thrilled. These are like the perfect hard boiled eggs. Look at them. They are just beautiful. Beautiful. 
I'm very impressed with this build. It made those eggs hard boiled so good. I'm really impressed. It's such a great build. And this is different. Like I saw a lot of builds that were cardboard, but this is like legit wood that's gonna last longer than cardboard, you know? There it is all closed up. I do kind of want to cut this a little bit, but it works okay. Um, these are these are um, little hooks, so I can hook these onto the back, but hooks. yeah, she wanted to know. I do need handles or wheels or something because it is a pain to move. Yeah, but other than pain. that, okay, let's get your mask on. So cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, so I will put some details down below in the description and I have a whole blog post about that talks about this um, that goes into detail about how to make it yourself. But uh, I'm really impressed with this. It works so good. And I will be cooking more with it, baking and cooking with it, just to show you guys how it's working. Thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow. Conquer tomorrow. By preparing today. By preparing today. Mm. <laughs> <laughs>